Tonight, a Syrian man living in Cambridge tells us that he has mixed feelings about the airstrike in his home country. WBZ's Louisa Muller is live in the Satellite Center for us tonight. And Louisa, his whole family is overseas right now. Well, David, Mohammed El Barden has been glued to the TV tonight. His mother, siblings, nieces, and nephews all live in Damascus. And he says he worries for their safety and is torn by news of military action in his country. But ultimately, he feels it is entirely necessary to teach the Assad regime a lesson. How are you feeling watching all this on the news? It's, to be honest, a mixed feeling. It's not something easy. Mohammed Al Barden has mixed feelings, violence in his homeland Syria, but he says an attack was necessary to send a message to an oppressive regime. I'm concerned about family, friends, and beloved one that still there. At the same time, I mean, Assad has to be punished for what, what he what he has done. Uh, you can just look at him doing what he's doing for the last six years and just do nothing. His entire family lives in Damascus, away from the recent deadly chemical attack. The pictures of uh, the kids that were gassed and so like was really hit, hit them a lot in, in the way they feel the guilt feeling just a hundred times. He says they want regime change and are open to U.S. help. Ultimately, they want peace. They are just looking for peace and safety and all of that. Now, you heard Mohammed mention his family feeling guilt about the chemical attack. He says it's been very difficult on them as they feel young children are suffering for the freedom that so many Syrians want. Live in the Satellite Center, Louisa Moeller, WBZ News.